something is going on y'all and i'm actually really annoyed i think free shipping is such a scam good morning y'all happy what is today what is today what is today tuesday um i am up early as hell it is currently 5 11 in the morning now um i have a lot to get done today because i gotta get it done today because i'll be semi out of commission tomorrow so i actually have to go through these bins one of them is strictly items that i sourced from the bins that i was gonna sell straight to a buy sell trade store didn't even list them and then another bin is items that i actually need to delist so i'm actually going to get that done right now um, once we get done with the delisting then um I want to go ahead and show you guys what I plan on selling them and the goal is to actually be able to steam and photograph the items that I plan on listing today because I'm actually going to be going pretty far out and um, I plan on hitting up three I know y'all three um, buy sell trade stores so I believe it's going to be closed mentor uh, Uptown Cheapskate and then Play-Dohs. Now this is actually all the inventory that I got yesterday at the bins and then this is a pile of inventory that I got from the bins yesterday as well, but this is actually to be sold to a buy sell trade store. So this is actually the page that I'm getting when I try to go to my closet on Poshmark. I'm not sure what's going on y'all, but I'm getting nervous. Um, Poshmark has been having some payment issues. Today is the 30th and I noticed yesterday on my Instagram that a lot of resellers have been complaining including myself that our payouts from january 24th still have not hit our accounts and i actually went to go look at all of my pending um you know deposits and i noticed that all of my payouts that i started january 24th are not here um and now i can't access the website now i, I was able to get on it on my phone um something is going on y'all and i'm actually really annoyed because one of the resellers is like, I got to pay rent in a few days, like, and y'all plan. So I'm actually annoyed um, because I was actually about to use, or I started to use Flip's, um, you know, site to delist the items um, because I thought, you know, to make it quicker, but obviously not because here we are at a roadblock. So I probably have to do Poshmark on my phone and then um, do Mercari. I think Mercari is working. Mercari is working on Flip, so I can just delist um, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy, <laughs> but, um, eBay, I'll have to go to their platform to get it done. So yeah, this is a little tedious, but I'm happy that it's not a lot of stuff in here. So that's the, that's the, the good thing before y'all remember the last time I cleaned out my inventory or did an audit and, um, I had a lot of stuff. All right. So we are finally done with all of the items from my inventory. Now, y'all, I'm actually in dire need of coffee. Um, I've actually been drinking these French vanilla latte ones, and I actually love them. Um, they're not as, like, strong as regular coffee. I'm actually debating on whether or not I want to put these in the mini Hulkin or put them in this Hulkin. Um, uh, and another thing, too, so I wanted to actually organize it and go through the care tags and stuff. I mean, I had time. It only took me like 45 minutes to do um, the delisting across all platforms, so that was actually good. I know that um, on What Megan Likes channel, she talks about how she um, actually likes to kind of like switch it up. So like, don't just put all tops with the tops, don't put all the jeans with the jeans, like, you know, just kind of keep them guessing. And I like that. Um, so I'll try to do something similar. 44. Okay, so we've got 44 items that we are going to be pulling from our inventory. So I have a huge, huge, huge tote full of stuff that I specifically sourced for the buy sell trade store. Now, most of this has been items that once I made it to the inventory and process, once I came back from the bins, I realized and said, you know what? I think I'd rather sell this to them first and see if they take it. If they don't take it, then I'll sell it. So it's a hogposh of not only that, but then also items that I was just like, you know what? 
I want to start picking this up for the buy sell trade store so I really didn't know I'm gonna be honest with y'all so I really started with activewear and I feel like it took me a while to kind of like get an idea of what is trending what would they take what would they like what brands would they like um, so I pretty much picked up a lot of stuff and I'm actually hoping today I would like to make at the very least two hundred and fifty dollars um, now I know that I want to say all three locations if you actually walk in and um, they have other people in front of you they will prioritize you if you walk around and look so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that today just to kind of get an overview um, both of the stores the two that I'm going further out with, those are, I'm most likely going to look around there. But last week I actually went to Plato's Closet because it's in my vicinity. And um, I found two things. I don't think I, I didn't show y'all because I didn't vlog. Um, but I picked up two things. I think it was a Fahardi sweater and then some driftwood pants. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably show that to y'all later on. But I'm still trying to decide if I want this to be a reseller vlog or a just Play-Dohs and, you know, Closet Mentor and Uptown Cheapskate video. I'm not really sure yet. So we'll see as the day goes on. But let's just get started because um, it's a lot. And I think we are making good time. It's not even 630. Literally, the sun hasn't came out yet. So um, I want to show you all this. And then I need to, of course, put it away. And then I want to steam and photograph the items that I plan on listing today just to kind of get myself ahead when I get back home because I'm sure I'm not going to get back home until maybe two or three in the afternoon. And um, if y'all are new here, I absolutely hate being anywhere that is not my home at 2 p.m. So there's that. So the goal is to try to get everything done um, as soon as possible. And of course, I plan on going to um, the... I wanted to leave to go to that area by like 8.30, so I have like two hours to get everything together. Um, but I also want to show y'all what sold yesterday. And then um, I I don't feel like I'm, I'm literally everywhere. <laughs> um, but I want to show y'all what sold yesterday. But then I also want to uh, steam and possibly photograph the items. I lost my train of thought, I'm going to be honest. I completely lost what I initially was going to say. So whatever, let's just jump in. This is a, I'll try not to explain anything just because I don't want to waste too much time. This is a made well texture and thread top. These are some Nike zebra stripe leggings. This is a Urban Outfitters romper. This is a brand that I've actually never heard of, but I picked these up because they are like those free people just float pants. This is a super down mini dress. This is a Urban Outfitters, like I want to say this is a mini dress. This is a altered state knit top. This is a J. Crew striped linen t-shirt. I don't know what brand this is, but it's a really pretty skirt. This is a TNA baby top. This is a pair of Nike leggings. I literally uh, found this at the bins. Not this one, but one just like this in my size, and I kept it. I thought this was it. But this is a Nike uh, quarter zip. These are a pair of Joe's jeans, more of a current style. This is a pair of rag and bone skinny jeans. This is that Everlane dress that I remember hauling. These are some Girlfriend Collective leggings. This is called Love Tree. It's just a romper. This is Maurice's New With Tags top. This is a Wild Fable New With Tags rib top, well, dress. I don't know why I picked that up. It literally retails for $15. I don't know what I was thinking. This is a Moon and Madison like crop sweater. Oh, I gotta take this Goodwill tag off. <laughs> Oops. Um, this is a Nike, you know, thing. I think this is in men's, honestly. This one's kind of big. I probably have to save that one for um, the Play-Doh's closet. This is a free people skirt. I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Some of this stuff, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, picking up. I just was like, oh, let me get some stuff. This is a Top Shop knit sweater. Please don't judge me. I, I feel like I've gotten better. <laughs> um, this is a J. Crew 365, you know, dress. I don't know who's gonna take that, but we'll see. I don't know why I picked that up. Uh, intro, new with tags. Yeah, this is disappointing the hell out of me. <laughs> uh, this is Max. This is just a new with tag sweater. This is a Nike's t-shirt. Look like it's vintage. These are some 501 Levi's. 
I'm already knowing they're not about to take some of this shit. I didn't even realize that some of this is also from my closet. This is actually from my closet. This is a Tommy um, Hilfiger like knit top. I just knew that I was going to sell, but obviously not. This is a Nike tank top. Oh, this is this is really pretty. This is going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. This is a new tag Zara like Bantu top. It has this really pretty heart in the front. This is Nike again, just a full zip. New Balance is just a nice little sweater of oh, champion shorts. Uh, tech gear, workout gear, shorts, uh, Nike shorts. Um, these are a pair of new tags, airy like shorts. These are a pair of Under Armour shorts. I don't think this is going to fit in the Hulkin. Okay, this is Kendall and Kylie. Y'all, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Kendall and Kylie, um, just a romper. I, I would love they took a lot of this stuff. This is Streetwear Society. It is new with tags for $30. This is also a, um, a jumpsuit. This is Patrons of Peace, size small. Also a jumpsuit. Yeah, definitely, definitely going to do better. Because this is garbage. Um, this is an extra, extra large um, new tags, wild fable, like crop top situation. I can already see the stuff they're going to say no to. I've never heard of this brand, but I think it's a fast fashion brand. But I picked it up because it was new with tags. It's a Zayful, like top. What are these? Okay, these are just some Under Armour, like legging type pair of outdoor voices. Um, you know, those are a solid color, so those are better but we'll see these are athleta this is chelsea and theodore um just like some linen pants under armor tank top I've never heard of this brand um a lingus i don't know um but it is a jumpsuit that is open on the side that's cute all of this just feels like some new items <laughs> this is nike dry fit tank top i'm assuming that they're gonna need some you know athletic wear this is house of harlow this is loft it's like a linen uh dress it's really pretty this is draper james the rsvp line this is theory just a t-shirt some of these look like i just picked up because of the name brand honestly this is from my personal closet this is a um under armor um top i feel like i want to no i'm gonna let it go <laughs> i'm like i'm about to keep that too uh, this is a size large Nike shirt. This is Lou and Gray. Yeah, y'all, I, I didn't, I didn't do good. I know better now. Um, this is Saturday Sunday. Uh, B O G Collective, another jumpsuit. Hopefully, jumpsuits are still in, cause y'all, I didn't picked up a lot. These are some Under Armour shorts. This is a sweaty Betty tank top. This is an India boutique dress. This is actually really pretty. I feel like I should try to sell this myself i'm gonna see if they don't want it then i'll sell it all right this is milk and honey i thought this was so pretty this is raisins it is new with tags and it's just like a beach cover-up i feel like i'm trying to go shopping <laughs> in this these are some fabletics leggings once i go in today i'll know what they are looking for and do better <laughs> this is michael stars it's just like a gauze top this is something that I remember hauling for y'all, but I decided I'm gonna just sell to them. It's Boohoo New with Tags. It's kind of like a, a tie front situation. This is Zella. Like I said, I didn't know what I was doing. This is actually, I picked this up. I think I'm just gonna damage this one out. Cause I remember. Yeah, this is from 10 years ago. We'll see if they want it. It's a made well flannel. I've already pulled off like five tags from stuff. Um, this is from a brand called Solitaire, which I didn't know was really low tier. Um, Cause I think I've picked up like three items from that brand and they all have been sitting. So I don't pick it up anymore. Well, I'm gonna see if they want it. Oh, this is nice. This is a size large. Um, it's a Nike Pro um, cow neck situation. If I could fit that, I would have kept that. Let me just go through it again. Um, this is an in loom like waffle knit this is blue pepper it's like a knit sweater um this is an intro look like a dress and then the last thing is this Tallulah knit top all right y'all so i'm actually about to um go through this 
again just to pull because there's like a few pieces that I don't even think they're going to take and I don't want to waste the space in my whole tent bringing it up there and they don't take it. All right, y'all. So I have finished both of the Hulkins. They are stuffed to the brim. Um, the baby Hulkin, not that heavy, very light. Um, mostly the items that I took from my inventory is in that one. So yeah, that's what that one looks like. It is stuffed, y'all. I literally stuffed her up. But anyways, uh, this was the dress that I was like, I'm just not gonna sell to them because I just don't see them picking up J. Crew. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my pile of clothes that I actually need to list myself. So this page is the home page, or I guess more of the order page of uh, Flip, and it just tells me what sold. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sales to ship out today, and yeah. So you already know I actually like to um, print my labels and like, you know, put them in the shipping area before I even pull the orders just so I can kind of get refreshed on what sold. Okay, so now for the items that sold. The first thing is actually this flax top. Um, I got like three pieces of these at the bins like a couple of weeks ago and this is the second one or I guess the third one to sell. Um, also, me and this particular buyer had ended up going back and forth so they initially wanted to bundle two of the pieces but of course one of them had already sold. Um, but at the time they wanted to bundle two of them. So I was like no problem. Um, it'll be you know $56 and then you have to pay shipping. She completely vanished, like literally vanished. And then, um, of course, the other item sold. So then I had to deactivate that. So she came back and I'm not even sure how she was able to, but she sent me a lower offer than what I had sent her. This is something that I actually just listed uh, yesterday. So I sourced it last week, but I was able to finally list it yesterday and it sold immediately. Um, this one is a new to me brand. Y'all saw it in a haul. It's called Verb with somebody's name but it sold at anthropology and it's embroidery all over i initially listed this a, a lot lower than i started to and then i thought about it and i was like you know what let's start bumping up the price it's a new year like let's not lowball ourselves so i bumped up the price and it actually sold for a decent amount i believe it sold for 56 dollars. i had a price at 75. all right this one was a style pickup at the bins um also, all of these items are from the bins, of course. Uh, but this was a pair of Palazzo floral pans from the brand GB. Um, I had these listed at 28, and I was surprised that they had a lot of likes on Mercari specifically. They didn't sell over there, they sold on Poshmark. But um, they sent me an $18 offer and I accepted it. All right, so the next thing to sell was these American Eagle jeans. These are actually um, the mom jeans. I know I was telling y'all about mom jeans kind of like slowly dying off. That's why you see so many of them. So just be very cautious. But I did pick those up because they were a size 10 and they were a short. So I believe they sent me a $17 offer. I had them priced at 20. I very recently went in and marked down all of my American Eagle to 20 or $15. So um, I want to kind of phase out the brand and only pick up items that are like more current and just better you know what I'm saying so um, I dropped the price on a lot of of those items just so I can get them out the door this is Pilgrim I actually just listed these last week and um, I don't know what what is the style um, this is the slim boyfriend crop honestly I still didn't know that people wore um, the boyfriend jeans but clearly they do um but yeah these ones sold through and offer to me i think i had them priced at 35 hoping to get about 25 to 28 they sent me a 25 dollars offer i was like of course so i accepted it all right so the last thing to sell are these abercrombie and fitch men denim jeans this is my first time picking up um abercrombie and fitch in men's denim but the style was current so i was just like might as well try it out this was the vintage stretch 90 straight and these got a lot of attention on all three platforms and uh, they sold for my full asking price on eBay which was $35 so yeah that is the wrap up for yesterday's sales um, it's not as much as I would like but during this slow season I am completely okay with it I'm happy to be making any sales because this past week has been very very dry um, but when I check my books it didn't look that dry it's just that I'm so used to a certain threshold that like the old threshold it just seems like it's not enough you know but anyways um moving on so i ended up purchasing a ll bean 
um, fleece from, you know, Mercari. So I initially purchased one on Poshmark from a YouTuber and she ended up, you know, um, what is it called? Canceling my order. And I was pretty upset about it because I, I was like looking toward it. Okay. And I typically buy men's fleeces because I don't like the structure of women's clothing. I feel like they are meant to fit you slightly fitted. And I don't like that. I don't like clothes to hug me. You know, she ended up canceling that order. So I was like, you know, what? let me go on um you know mercari to get it and i saw this one this one was 28 dollars um and it was free shipping so i was like that's a great deal and it was the same color supposedly okay so i actually picked this up from depop this red one so look at this y'all see that nice full zip really great condition very beautiful love the things if this wasn't red i would have kept this Honestly, I don't even know what I was thinking when I initially purchased it because I don't wear red. I don't wear things that coordinate with red. So why did I pick up a red one? So then look at this one. Now, first of all, it looks cropped. But that wasn't even the issue, y'all. This thing had multiple things wrong with it. And of course, I don't think Mercari, actually Mercari does take things back for fit. But that wasn't even my main issue. One, it smells like mildew, okay? It smells of mildew and of course I had no problem I'm like okay all I gotta do is wash it I can soak it in vinegar I don't really even care but it did stink second this actually is not dark brown like they stated this is a faded black okay now I've come across a lot of dark brown items because y'all know I love brown I love neutral colors that's pretty much all I enjoy wearing is neutral colors you already see it but the fact that y'all really thought y'all was about to pass this off as a dark brown is insane um so it was just a multitude of things I'm gonna be honest um this was stated as a large regular which is the exact same as this one I need to put this on a hanger this looks like a crop top compared to this one so I ended up putting in a return request so I have to ship it back and I'm sure the seller is pretty pissed because one they did free shipping so they lost out on the shipping and then the item so that's why I would never do free shipping and that's as a buyer and a seller I think free shipping is such a scam and um, honestly I was gonna keep this I'm not even lying to y'all I was gonna keep this because uh, I can fit it, but I don't like the fit, if that makes any sense. So like, it fits me very snug, but I can still get away with it. But it was more so, the color is not the color. This is a, a faded black. Even if it was just regular black, I probably would have took it too, but this is faded, so I don't want it. Um, So I gotta ship this back as well. So that is that. Look at the difference, y'all. <laughs> They are nuts to think that they was going to pass this off. Clearly somebody just washed this and dried it too many times because there's no reason for this to be cropped like that. All right, y'all. So I knew it was something that I ended up forgetting. Um, this is a Chico's top. This was definitely <laughs> a style pickup and very random. Uh, the brand was called Studio Tees. I think I recently hauled this for y'all. But um, it was an extra large and it's vintage Chico. So... I picked it up and it actually sold for I want to say either $21 or $22 on eBay and I'm actually happy that I got it. Um, I was a little hesitant but I'm just like the print on it definitely is selling. So trade store this was a uh, fahardi i think i paid 14 dollars for this i may have overpaid because i didn't even check comps usually when i go on a buy sell trade store i rarely 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 check comps um but yeah i just picked it up because fahardi is actually a pretty decent brand i'm hoping to sell it for at least about 45 dollars you know maybe 40 45 and then um i actually found like 
I want to say about four pairs of driftwood and it was actually I want to say they were all marked up to like $25 this one was I know hold on it was $17 I know I paid a lot um, but I am looking to sell these for at the very least about $55 um, and this is the Colette and the main reason why I got it is because um, it is a 32 waist so like I said before I came across like four or five pairs um, some of them were of course pretty all of them were pretty um, but they $25 just a little too much but 17 I could do because I feel like I can still get about $50 for this and still get a at least about $30 profit so, so I'm actually not hauling any of these items Honestly, I probably should. I got some decent pieces, but nothing like I gotta show y'all, you know? And that's typically um, the the push behind haul and things. But I'm actually happy that I have really done better with my sourcing because yesterday was such a bad day <laughs> for sourcing. So I am pretty grateful for the pieces that I was able to find. And I think I found like over 60 pieces if i'm not mistaken i think like a total of 75 because i did get some stuff for my son and then i also got some stuff for me and then i also got some stuff for the buy sell trade store so um with everything i think i paid 88 cents a piece um so it was a, a good financial sourcing day well i guess all of them are great because i'm only paying at most like a dollar 30 cents for each piece also y'all i bet y'all like girl why are you about to list christmas items Oddly enough, both of these brands do good. And honestly, this one was just so cute. I couldn't leave that one behind. And then this one I just found yesterday. Um, the brand is called Blizzard Bay. It did have over 100% sell-through rate, like, I want to say like 120%. Um, but, of course, that was because Christmas had just, you know, happened. So, I don't know. These most likely will be listed for over a year if I decide to list them now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I just talk myself out of it. Okay, y'all, so um, y'all can barely see me, but um, I picked up two items. I got the um, Abercrombie & Fitch. It's a newer style. It's like a, um, a flare, and I picked up the Finley dress. Now, I put the float, or so I thought, the Free People float um, jeans back because they weren't the float style. And a lot of their flare jeans um, had like a 50% sell-through rate, which is not bad, but for $10, I don't think I want to sit on that, um, you know, and the size was like a 26, so it probably sat around for a while, but who knows, but I did pay $14.33. I did try to come in here with a mindset of actually leaving out no later than $9.45, and it is currently $9.49. Um, the place shouldn't be that far from here because I'm in the general uh, vicinity. Um, oh, shoot. 
but I did make a sale on Mercari, so I just want to go ahead and delete them on the other platforms. So, starting to notice a lot of my um, summer items and spring items are selling right now. So, if you have not started to list, go ahead and start. So, it's called Clothes Mentor. I don't know why I always say Closet Mentor. I don't know what's wrong with me. Damn, it's a 17 minute drive. Ugh, it's okay. It's a random Tuesday. Hopefully nobody, <laughs> you know, is off of work right now trying to go over there. Um, I'm actually waiting for this second location. My phone is literally on 11% and I still have to use the GPS to get home. And unfortunately for me, I actually took my car charger out to use on my uh, keyboard because I noticed that it died and it wouldn't charge. So, here we are. Um, yeah, I don't even know how my battery got this low. When I got here, I was at like 17% and I was just like, how did that even happen? I mean, when I was in the, before I left the house, I had to been at like 70%. So even getting here, has been wild these old people they should be going to close mentor definitely not here this place i just came inside of my car because it's so bad in there um the prices are priced as if they were online so yeah and it's it's weird because it's not even like great things i mean we're talking easel bb like these boutique brands y'all pricing at 45 dollars. what are y'all doing i found a lululemon swiftly top that one was 30 dollars. like are you fucking kidding me i'm sorry y'all ain't even update y'all on how the first location went it went amazing first off they told me 20 minutes here so that's why i went inside but like this is definitely not 20 minutes so i'm probably about to walk up in there in like five minutes I don't think they give you a notification. So I went to uh, Clothes Mentor. Honestly, y'all, I go to Clothes Mentor first because they pay the most and they take the most. So I prefer to go there because I feel like the items that I pick up is strictly for that location. So I think I'm gonna start sourcing for them uh, specifically. Anyways, so I did get an itemized, but they didn't put the price beside each item, which I don't care. But they took 79 items and I made $283, which is a lot more than I um, said that I wanted, which is great. Um, I think I actually said I wanted to make 400, um, but if I would've took the store credit, I think I would've got $353. And that was actually really tough. I was like, ooh, you know, but I realized like, give me the cash. <laughs> In this economy, I think I'll just keep the cash. So. That's where I'm at. Um, I did spend, uh, I wanna say like $50 in the, the store, uh, picking up some new inventory. One of the items was for me. <laughs> like I told y'all before, Judy Blue is my favorite pair of jeans. So I went on and um, found a size smaller than the one that I'm wearing now. So I went on and got that one just because I wanted to try them out and if I can't fit them I can still sell them all right y'all so I have successfully made it back and I have two Hulkins full of things well let me not say full they're um one is full of the bags that I had from today let me actually show y'all what I picked up at the Goodwill so I left out with only two items and um this is a new to me brand it's called Finland. I think I showed y'all, but I ended up picking it up. The comps on it is really good. I knew nothing about this brand. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it is sold at Tucker Nuck. Um, I seen a lot of them listed for over $50, and that was the main reason why I picked it up. Some did sell, but during this time, you have to be kind of mindful of uh, checking comps to kind of take them with a grain of salt due to the fact that this is the off season for like summer dresses. So I don't wanna leave things behind that could potentially bring me a lot of money in the summertime just because the past three months we've been in fall and winter. So be mindful of that when you check comps, 
out of season like take with a grain of salt but also use your own intuition all right anyways uh the next one is these abercrombie and fitch the kick flare ultra high rise so these are just like a black pair of pants you already know how i feel about um abercrombie and fitch it's been selling for me i just sold a pair of men's pants but these were half off so i only paid like four bucks for these well four or five dollars for them um so yeah that was a really good um you know time i was there for like what maybe about 45 minutes and that's what I picked up and I'm actually happy about it um I put that one item back but you know you just gotta check your comps you know check them check them comps all right so this is what I picked up at the first location so the clothes mentor I did look around the whole store for the duration of the time that they were looking at everything that I had due to the fact that I was bored and it was just like why not um I've also realized too that Clothes Mentor is actually the place that I would personally shop um, because their price points are so much more affordable than Uptown Cheapskate. And I feel like I'm slowly walking out the window of Uptown Cheapskate um, as far as like their demographic because I am a millennial. Um, I was born in 92, but I still don't think that it's for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it's really for Gen Z. Um, I thought Play-Dohs was for Gen Z. Uptown Cheapskate was for like the older Gen Z and then the younger millennials, but I don't think I'm a part of that. I'm going to close mentor, okay? But anyways, <laughs> I picked up these Judy Blue jeans. Definitely need to try these on and see if I can fit them. Um, these were um, discounted. What's so crazy to me too, y'all, is they had a sign on the front of the store that was purple and white. Now the way that the, the signage was, it just looked like it was purple. So I came across so many white tags that I end up leaving behind and come to find out those two are the ones discounted. Now they had a very specific type of sale. So the more you get, the more discount you have, which is a great deal to have. Um, and if I was in like my super shopping mode, I probably would have bought more. Um, Cause I did see a few white tags that I ended up putting back and purple tags. So what they did was, so if you pick up one, it's going to be 10% off. If you pick up two, it's going to be 20%. It continuously goes on. So like, I believe three is 30%, four. And um, once you hit five items or more, you get 60% off. So that would have been the most bang for my buck. And initially I did look around um, to just kind of glance at all of the ones because I wanted to make sure I reached a certain price point once I got to the window. All right. And then this next one is Tory Birch Sport. So this is actually a, um, I want to say this is a wool blend. Um, so I definitely try to look into it a little bit more when I was there. I did check comps inside the store and the wool pieces do a little bit better. This is a sweatshirt. So I'm at the very least going to get about 40 to $50 for this. I did pay $18.99, which is a lot, but, um, I did check the comps, like I said, and, um, a lot of them were over the $40 mark. So for $20, I probably, I'm probably going to be pricing mine at about 55 ish or 60 depending on if I can find one um, just like this one because I haven't found one that is just like this and then the second piece that I got from clothes mentor is John Mark this is just a really pretty like boho top I did pay $17.99 for this but I have a lot of luck selling this brand and honestly I would love for this to be like a bread and butter brand but I don't come across it as much but when I do it has 100% sell through rate for me so I always pick it up when I see it. All right so we got 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 so 300, 115, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we got $319 from selling my clothes minus $40 so technically I would have like $350 and I also did not go to Play-Doh's closet um, I opted out only because honestly since I made the amount that I needed I just don't think that it's necessary for me to um, go there today so um, the next time I go out I think I'm gonna try for the same items again at the next location because um, like I told y'all in my um, business update I actually want to incorporate the buy sell trade store twice a month and I don't think I'm gonna get this type of payout you know as frequently just because I brought them in a lot of stuff and my dumb butt actually I can do it now but um 
the first location so clothes mentor took 79 items and i made 283 dollars and then uptown cheapskate they gave me no receipt i asked them can i have a receipt they said oh no we don't give receipts i'm like oh okay so they got 20 items and they paid me 83 dollars so so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys for hanging out with me and i'll see you in the next one bye